most of my creativity is slash will be not Adam Branco original. My visions contain mixed copyrighted content. I am the type of person who modifies and resurrects. I want to resurrect games, commercial and non-commercial, with old slash new temporary rules for each game, to have a complete gaming library, and songs. I want to resurrect the songs to correct the grammar from the songs and to sing the songs. But I mentally have a long list of resources. I generally need copyright permissions slash permissions from the resources. But how am I going to get generally the copyright permissions slash permissions instead of asking source by source? Various artist albums are an example. The notices sound negative to me. And I feel faithless that the licensors will not give me permission slash permissions. Think about the death of the games and of the songs if the licensors do not give me the permission slash permissions. Think about the starvation if there are too many restrictions that are enforced. I am not talking about food. I am talking about hope for the licensee slash licensees. If one serious prohibition exists, there will be a multitude of serious prohibitions thus begetting civil madness. Material hope and material honor will eradicate soon. One of these days, there will be no more original ideas for everyone, present slash future generations in this world due to the laws of trademark slash patent slash copyright. In a simile, a specific type of species will become extinct if hunters keep killing that specific species. The more trademark slash patent slash copyrights filed, the less the chances of a fresh idea the less the chances of honor, the more the nonsensical prohibitions. If the serious enforcement of laws of trademark slash patent slash copyright keeps up, there will be no more material hope, no more continuation for life, confirmably blaming communities as true, depression, Fear of people, loneliness, and suicide. According to Romans chapter 3, verse 23, the Bible quotes, We sinned and we come short of God's glory. What does the word we stand for in Romans chapter 3, verse 23? The word we stands for all of us in this world who had sinned and who came short of God's glory. None of us can keep every condition. EULA is included too. If we keep every condition and if we obey every condition, we are living in bondage and in fear. 2 Timothy chapter 1 verse 7 states, God did not deliver us the spirit of fear, but he delivered us the spirits of power, of love, and of a sound mind. Fear is not listed in the fruit of the spirit according to Galatians chapter 5 verses 22 to 23. I do not care about intellectual property laws because we all are on the same team, God's team. God wants us to construct one another, not to deconstruct one another by fear. Romans chapter 12 verse 10 states that we should show brotherly love to one another, including our enemies. We are to give hope to one another, 
not hopelessness, because God is hope. Without God, there will be no hope. With your support, we can tear down the walls, laws of hopelessness, and we can bring back hope into our lives.